Well, every day, scientists around the world are learning more about the new strain of coronavirus called the Omicron variant. Omicron, Omicron. World Health Organization has already labeled it of concern, which is the highest level of early warning. We're grateful to say good morning to Dr. Benjamin Newman, chief virologist at Texas A&M. You've spent your career studying viruses like this one. How worried are you? I'm not particularly worried, but I'm a little perplexed. This is a weird one. Um, so what we have in Omicron is like a greatest hits of COVID album. This has all the mutations that we've seen anywhere else over all of time, and they're all together. And the question is going to be, do they work? Like you can imagine greatest hits albums, something like the Eagles would work okay. But take something like Pink Floyd. Do you want to hear money and comfortably <laughs> numb back to back? I just don't know if it's going to go. So right now it's concerning, but we've got to wait a little bit and figure out what's going on. Um, it, it, so this is a, not a twist on the Delta. It's in fact a mutation on the original virus. This is from the branch that gave us uh, yeah, favorites such as the Alpha variant. Uh, but these are, frankly, all alone at a very at the end of a very long branch on the family tree. So normally we can see the virus going one step, two step, three step, and then it gets to a new variant where we uh, notice it and it starts to do really well. This one, we have none of the backlog here. So probably this is something that has been mutating out of sight, just somewhere where there wasn't a lot of surveillance. And so while we picked up the first case, uh, uh, which now dates to the 9th of November uh, in South Africa, it's probably Probably not from South Africa. It's probably from somewhere where there's less surveillance. Maybe Central Africa uh, could be a location. One of the big questions, of course, is will our current vaccines and then part two, the current treatments that we have and the ones in the works, the, the pills from, from Pfizer and Moderna, will the vaccines and the treatments, do you think, work or do we just have to wait and see? I think we are likely to get pretty good protection with the vaccines. Uh, what you may see are asymptomatic breakthroughs in vaccinated people. Uh, uh, if you can imagine these viruses, I think of them as tortoises or hares. The tortoises are kind of resistant to uh, antibodies. They're, they're going to plod along and never do particularly well. Something like Delta is the hare. It's not very different, but it's really fast. This one looks like a super duper tortoise from the sequence that we can see. But we kind of have to wait and see how all these mutations play out together because we've never seen them. Uh, we've seen them in twos and threes, but never uh, with 11 or 12 all in the same place like we have on this one. Yeah. So I guess the good news is if vaccines do need to be changed, we could, I would suspect can do it much more quickly and nimbly based on everything we have learned and all of the infrastructure for manufacturing that's now in place. Right. And as, as you mentioned before, the pills should be fine. They target different parts of the virus that are really not changed in this one. Uh, yeah, it should be quick. And uh, Pfizer and Moderna have both been talking about this. I believe they have something in development. Uh, and uh, yeah, I would expect to see some news about this uh, in a month or two. All right. Dr. Newman, as always, thank you so much for uh, joining us this morning.